I'm going to talk just now about what's on the other side of things, okay? Because it's really important. I think thinking about what's on the other side of things is kind of where creativity lives. It is for me. I went out on my bike on Wednesday morning. Um, Alex and I usually ride on a Wednesday morning from about half seven till nine before we start work. But I got out a bit earlier than he was a bit later. So I had an hour on my own and I, I, I haven't had that for ages. And, uh, and I, and I kind of get to think about what's coming next and what's on the other side. And so the story here is my son's 15. He's with his mates in our house around a pool table and they're talking about the size of the universe. And they're at that age where they're going, oh my God, it's so big. Oh my God, we're all going to die. Oh my God. It's, it's, um, and I said to them, well, you know, it's contracting the universe, guys. You know, we think it's contracting back to the size of a full stop within the next however many billion years. And they're going, oh my God. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And they're trying to get their head around that. And then I say to them, see, as it's contracting and they go, yeah, yeah. I go, what's on the other side? And so when you think like that, that's proper philosophy, isn't it? And it's what we're here for and why and what's going on. And then that takes you to what do I want to do and what's the point? And then you think, what's on the other side of that? And what am I going to do next? And for me, that works really well. Um, and there was a little bit of dead silence with those boys before they went mental, trying to comprehend what might be on the other side of the universe until one of them said, oh, it'll be another universe. And I said, ah, oh, yeah, that's right. But what's on the other side of that? 